Howdy everyone, hello and welcome back to more of Let's Play Blind Parasite Eve 2, I am the Black Shadow. Uh, so, uh, we're still here in the uh, the shelter here. Uh, found our way, uh, reuniting with Pierce up in the gantry area, uh, who's revealed to us about the existence of the, uh, the apparent, the Ark, the Neo Ark, which apparently um, uh, is in existence underneath this shelter, some kind of giant greenhouse thing. All kinds of weirdness going on there. Uh, we can't get indirect access to it, however. It's kind of like protected by like some kind of electromagnetic shielding. Uh, and in order to try and kind of weaken it, there's a load of psionic enemies that are around that we need to try to destroy in order to help get a way in. Which means we've basically got to go through the entire shelter area, um, as well as a little bit of the mines too, in order to kill the relevant enemies. Now, I strongly suspect that this video is going to be largely a lot of busy work. Because that's kind of really all this is, folks. This is basically busy work in the shelter. Um, and I can't tell you guys that I'm excessively excited about this because it's kind of hard to be so. Um, so while I consider doing all this off screen, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to use this video as an opportunity for me to kind of express my thoughts on this game. Um, now I've played this game for like, you know, what, 15, 16 videos, whatever it is. Um, and actually I give you my thoughts on what I like about this game and what I don't like about this game. Um, and there are several, uh, entries to both categories. Quick mind of our equipment, by the way, because this is the MP5, who obviously we're rocking around. We've got unlimited, uh, hydro ammo, plenty of stuff here to basically go and have ourselves some more. So let's get ourselves started. Uh, first we can head to, I suppose, is probably the, uh, storeroom. Uh, actually, no, I should probably go to the sleeping quarters first. We'll go to sleeping quarters first, and we'll make our way back through them. So, yes, yeah, so, so, so we've played this game now for about 15 years. So I've put in, say, the best part of 10 hours now into this game. Um, now, as I said, there's things I like about this game, and there's things I don't like in this game, and that's not just on its own. But that's also in relation to its predecessor, Parasite Eve 1, which, of which you must kind of, like, compare this game to, to some degree. You've kind of, uh, you kind of have no choice. Hi, buddy! What the hell? All sorts of crazy shit around here. So, things I like about this game. Well, you're seeing one of them, actually. Uh, that is the, um, this combat system, folks. This whole, um kind of, uh, you know, real-time combat system. I actually think this is a really nice addition. Um, I, as I've mentioned before, I wasn't the biggest fan of how this game uh, operated originally. Um, it was a little bit, um, you know, with random encounters and such, the way combat was dealt with. Like, you'd gradually get into a fight and you'd be, like, kind of instantly forced into a certain spot on the map to start off with the fight in a limited area. It wasn't, like, great to me. Uh, I think it's a bit of a product of its time. Um, and definitely the fact that this game's come out, like, on the back end of, um, of the PlayStation 1's life cycle has allowed them to be a bit, have a bit more freedom with how combat works. And for sure, this is a better way to deal with it. Uh, it just feels much more... Um, it feels a bit innovative, re realistically. Um, it just feels like you're a lot more in control of what's going on, that you can sort of, in theory, set stuff up as you're going to, which is all well and lovely. Um, other things I miss, uh, as well, speaking of the, uh, the life cycle as well, is the fact... Uh-oh. Well, let's give us some fun here. What the hell? Ow. What is going on over here? Weird stuff. Well, let's, uh, let's beat the shit out of it. Oh, ow. Stuff's blowing up on me in all sorts here. Kind of weird. What's going on here? There's like, there's like heads appearing and disappearing. Weird. Whatever. So, this game I think looks really, really good for, for a PlayStation 1 game. Again, the fact this comes at the very back end of the um, of the system's uh, life cycle, admitting the fact that I am emulating this as well, is helping with like the live models. But even like kind of a lot of the pre-rendered backgrounds look really, really good for a PlayStation 1 game. Um, and definitely... Uh, should take some degree of credit. I think the uh, the devs definitely did a really, really awesome job um, of this. And the game looks definitely really, really decent. Hello. You're going to die. Get him. Run. Nope. He 
He's going to heal himself here, as he is wont to do. I think there might be two of them here, actually. I can see his buddy down the back there. Yeah, there he is. Okay, then. Take more of these Sonic dudes. Oops. Ah, we just reload. That's fine. Um, as far as the game, I know things I... Oh, get out of the way of this. I don't think, admittedly, I will give the game, um, I think it's incredible, although I suppose your mileage may vary a bit. Um, I actually think the plot of this game is perhaps not, isn't too bad. Um, it is a bit kind of, though, like, if it's not really your kind of plot, um, you know, it is a bit, like, uh, I don't want to say complex. Like, if you've played the first game, it definitely helps a lot in understanding a bit of what's going on. Uh, if you haven't played the first game, like, it's not completely, like, what on earth is going on, like, like impossible to follow. Uh, but when you do start following the, um, when you do start following the plot in this game, I actually think it's not too shabby at all. Um, you know, and be honest, like, the weapon system as well, like, it ain't too bad. You know, having the, having the, uh, different options to be weapons as well. Uh, you've got bits and pieces to mess around with, um, you know, and I like kind of like the, you know, the side stuff as well, sort of like the flashlights, your pepper sprays, you know, bits and pieces like that. I do enjoy that, and uh, to be honest, like, the fact that weapons in this game, like upgrading them is a little bit, and like your stats is a bit less RPG, I think probably lends itself to this game a bit more. But then again, it depends what you look for in a video game. Um, it was very, very RPG style in the original, which meant didn't always work with the game. However, there are definite things that I don't like about this game and haven't particularly enjoyed. Um, one of them is stuff like this is never good, although... Oh, Christ. Hold on, let me get my shotgun out here. I have got this with the Firefly rounds, I hope. I do good. Okay. I'm glad I remembered to do this. So I can't never really defend any game that has like kind of this um, this backward stuff. It's sort of like backtracking and busy work. Um, I can never really like say hooray or anything like that. Uh, this is awkward. I've set stuff on fire, but that's kind of not ideal. Let me get this one. Just pick it out from the distance here is going to be the safest for us. As we are hit with Berserk here, and I don't really have an effective way of, um, of dealing with the incident that gets out here. But that works. Let's shotgun back out here. A bit hard for me to convey my thoughts on the game, but yeah. So, I'm, I, yeah, I'm just never a fan of games that do this kind of busy work. Um, it's just... I don't think it makes for really attractive gameplay. Um, I'm having flashbacks to my time with uh, Dino Crisis 2. Uh, for those of you guys who saw that series when I did that, will may well also remember um, the, uh, the there's a sequence to about two about halfway to two thirds of the way through the game where you have to go back um, to the like basically one of the first areas in the game to get hold of a key item, and that's it, um, so that you can go back to where you were in order to continue the game. It's just completely unnecessary. Uh, we're gonna grab some more rounds while we're here. Completely unnecessary. Um, and just like it's it's doing it almost artificially to extend that for the game. I don't think this game's done that a lot. Um, not in like terms of like the actual plot, but the fact that there are several occasions, especially if you've never played this game before, where you're basically forced to do backtracking uh, multiple times to get into your inventory spaces that you put stuff down like with the car, uh, especially with freaking um, Douglas's truck, which is at the beginning of the mine still. You know, the game tells you put your shit in here. You, it, it's almost like you're not coming back to Dryfield, and then not only can you, but like. Storing it in Drive would have been easier than leaving it in the mine, probably. Um, so that's not great, and I can't say I'm a particular fan of that. Um, you know, and it's just... It's a bit frustrating, um, it's a bit tedious, and it's just like... You should probably be expecting a bit better. Um, I must also admit as well, I'm not a, actually that huge a fan of like the environment. Um, like, it's, it's difficult, because of course Parasite Eve 1, you're in New York. You know, you're in a living, vibrant sort of city. Um, there's literal, there's places that you go that exist. Um, and it's all kind of like, it helps you kind of like almost suspend your disbelief a bit and, and kind of think of it as it's actually happening, you know, and kind of immerse yourself in it a bit more. Whereas we've been in the top of a tower. 
which was kind of cool, actually. I think it was actually one of the best bits of the game so far, was actually first getting into the Acropolis Tower. I actually thought it was pretty good. Um, dry fields, like, eh, so much. And then you're just in this, this shelter, which I know it's not going to be glamorous. It's an old Cold War shelter, but it's just... I don't know. I, I, I can't sit here and, and be, like, wowed by the sceneries. Uh, one thing that has really underwhelmed um, is the game's music. It's just kind of... Especially in comparison to the original game, like, this music you're listening to now, it's just like... You know, it's like something out of Solar Jetman, and even Solar Jetman uh, was better than this. Um, it's, it's not particularly impressive. Um, you know, especially given that Parasite 1's OST was really, really good. This has some good stuff in it. Don't get me wrong, there's some good, there are some good tracks to be had in this one, but, but not enough. Also, this could be interesting. I need to open up here. There we go. Just, just open up the Hydra rounds and just shoot, the, shoot everything down. Is the way to rock and roll. No, nope, don't do it. Oh, necrosis, you. Do you suffer from necrosis? You do suffer from necrosis stuff. I couldn't remember. There we go, got it. Oh, he's well. He's not dead yet. Now he's dead. Good. There has been various comments as well. Um, you know, remarking about uh, you know throughout the series. Um, there's been plenty of comments from plenty of folks who are sort of weighing in with their sort of thoughts of what they've seen in this game. Some people are more impressed than others, um, you know, and like, there's definite, like, there are things that are, I think, as I say, in this game aren't too bad, but there's definite areas that I think are open for criticism in this game. Um, and especially considering Parasite Eve 1, like, I really enjoyed it. It was a, re it was a really, really enjoyable experience. Uh, maybe not a game for everyone, which, you know, no game is for everyone. That's, that's obviously the, uh, an impossibility to basically achieve. But I still think, all things considered, Parasite Eve 1 was actually very, very enjoyable. I think this game is... <sighs> it had a, a big kind of, um... It had a big hurdle to clear in terms of that. Um, I can't say I've enjoyed this as much as Parasite Eve 2. As Parasite Eve 1. Um, and that's just the fact of it. Uh, but it's still not been too bad. Hello? Well, let's go and hit this guy very upset. Oh. oh, you're not dead yet. No, you are now. You got another one? You do. Got a buddy down the back as well. Well, we're just going to necrosis a lot of you. Oh, right, of course, they can't be necrosis. Or oh, at least the head bit of that couldn't. It's a bit annoying you have to, like, get these fuckers in the head. Body doesn't actually take any damage to you take out the head part. I don't really know why that is, but the game's like, eh, that's how I want, that's how I want this shit to work. Like, well, okay. There we go. Beautiful. What we got hold of here? A protein caps. Ooh, nice. We shall make some use out of that. Sorry about that, folks. I had to quickly pause there. Um, so, a couple of things I would also make a note of this game. I'll just check out my uh, energy here. I think I'm probably going to improve um, some stuff here. Um, Necrosis is going to cost 3k. Uh, best power and range. That does interest me. But I would like to get a better emulation. Um, it's a nice spell to have. It's a nice area of effect one. So, we're going to upgrade emulation here. Necrosis is going to be 3k. Um... Do I care about this? Probably not. I also can't do it anyways. Um, one thing that has surprised me about this game is that they opted um, Luxury of Power Set Eve 1 to not go for actual voices in this game. Now... Uh oh. Oh, there they are. Now, I don't know necessarily what the decision for that was. And I can't sit in and say that I know what the decision was. I, is it maybe they decided to do it because Parasite Eve 1 didn't have voice acting? So I'm like, well, you can like uh, Parasite Eve 1 and um, not have voices in this? I don't know. Um, but I must admit, like, personally, it's a bit disappointing. Considering that, obviously, tons of games at this point had voice acting. And it's not even like this game doesn't have any voice acting at all. Like, it has a couple of grunts here and there. And, like, you know, yelps and whatever else. It has some... 
bits of voice at times, but it doesn't actually have actual, like, voice lines. Strange development choice for me. I, um, I, 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 like, I kind of feel like I know what they're trying to go for, but it doesn't necessarily make, mean that it was, I think, a good decision, so. I would have much preferred to have seen something like that, just to make the game a lot more accessible. You know, this game's like, you know, the PlayStation 1 had been out for, what, like, six, seven hours, six, seven hours, or like six, seven years or whatever, something crazy at this point. It'd been out for a long, long old time. So to not have um, any voice acting of any kind, I think is um, a little bit disappointing. Um, and I think this game would have benefited from that, uh, especially considering that the environments that you're in are just inherently not as um, sort of, they're not gonna be as interesting as being in freaking Manhattan um, you know, over the course of a few days, I mean, the original game, so I think you need something like this just to kind of help. Um, one other thing as well that, that I haven't really felt too much myself, or that has come up at times, um, the puzzles in this game, I'm okay with there being puzzles in this game, but some of these are, like, pretty arbitrary, um, and or, like, finding the solutions for these are, like, pretty, pretty ridiculous, you know, we've seen, you know, like with the, the full moon thing, for example, and like, if you don't look at a certain few windows, um, you know, that's it, you, you won't know what the answer is unless you brute force it, um, the whole thing with, um, uh, what was it, uh, Christ, the, I suppose one thing, um, Man, there's, there's a few puzzles where a lot... Oh, yes, that was it. The, the scratchings in, like, Dryfield, where literally you've got one chance to see one of those writings, and if you don't find it, you're basically screwed. Um, so you can't do that. Like, that's just... I just don't think that's amazing game design. Um, you know, to, just, to, just to do that. It's a bit of a dick move, um, and it just doesn't really feel like the sort of thing this game would do. I'm okay with some of the puzzles. Um, some of them are fine, but, like... Stuff like that, that second writing, where if you don't see it and that one pass through that room, you probably will never know it's there, and then you can't complete the chain unless you reload the game. I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't have designed it. Maybe that's, um, maybe that's on me, folks. I can't, uh, I can't profess to be. Yeah, I saw that little trap. Still more dudes around, though. Might be in the, might be in the, uh, the cells here, perhaps. Looks like they are. Are you dead? You're not? Well, that's a pain in the ass. There we go. Good. Are we done? Lovely. Lovely stuff. Awesome. Awesome. Wasting my time. This was Bowman's cell, wasn't it? Yeah, F. Bowman. That's the one. Can't bear the stench. I don't blame you. Is there anything else in here? I actually legit don't remember. I don't think there was. Just double checking. Just making sure. Sometimes you miss things. It's like, damn it. Yep, just the cold pizza. Doesn't look like there's anything else more in here. Okay then, cool. Lovely stuff. Uh, okay, we got down. The, I want to need to go down the B3. I actually want to go down the B3. Do a bit of checking down there for something. Out of curiosity. Can I take this? Oh, it's the same damn journal. Yeah, I don't need to take it. Okay, we don't take it. Just double checking, making sure. But yes, yeah, so I think that's my large thoughts on this game um, as a whole. Oh, we need to go back down this way to go and be free. Um, like, I'm sitting here, say, 10 hours in, and it's like, I don't regret playing this game, and far from it. I've, I've, on the whole, you know, it's been a, a, an enjoyable experience, but I have felt, I feel like I have been left wanting a bit. Um, and like, I know there's still a bit of the game to go, and maybe the game might um, turn a bit of a leaf, but like, the Acropolis Tower wasn't too bad, that was kind of a cool segment of the game. Um, but beyond that, like, Drive Field was like, eh, fine. Um, yeah, I see. Um, and then, like, beyond that, it's, like, been, uh, not, I don't know, I, I, I've, I guess I've been expecting to be a bit more wow than I have done, and it just hasn't, hasn't transpired for whatever reason, which is unfortunate. 
Oh, I can't go back there. Okay, then. Well, never mind. Hope I didn't need to go in there for anything. Q comments I've received on previously is saying, you shadow! No, there was something in the hole that you gotta grab when the boss fight ends. Otherwise, you'll never grab it. It's like the best weapon in the game. That's probably not even a lie. There's probably was something back there that I don't know about that I could have grabbed after the boss fight but never grabbed and would have been told about several videos ago. And, well, oops is the word you're looking for. Uh, let's just do it this way. This is the easiest way to do it. Uh, and just get it out this way. Beautiful. Easy game. GG's. Uh-oh. Well, this isn't quite how I intended to do this, but you know what? That A works and B is actually rather satisfying. Must admit. Very satisfying. Nice. Oh, I can actually go down here? I thought this was all flooded up. I forget what was and wasn't drained around here. Okay, that bottom stuff was drained up. Okay, then. Uh -oh. Oh. 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 shit. Taking some hits here. Just not, not a great area to be fighting here. I must admit. Love it. Fire flammo, save me! There we go. I forget, could I buy this fire flammo? Or could I not? I legit don't remember. I'll have to check. It's fine. I will do it at some point. As we continue exploring, hunting down all these Sonic dudes. There may or may not be any more. I actually legit don't know. I should probably be checking the map. This will take us back to Dryfield. If we want to go back to Dryfield. Um, well, there's something here. So I guess we'll have a scrap with whatever it is. Well, there's Amoeba shit. Damn, you're a tough one, aren't you? Scumbag. This is awkward. Oh, good dodge. Got away with that one. I'll take it. You fuckers die. Thank you. There we go. Good. Good, good, good. Like I said, folks, it's going to be awful busy working. Oh, I've got another edit to uh, uh, toilet. Toilet? I have no idea. Another one of those things that um, can make us go berserk. I guess that's nice. Uh, is there anything else left to do around here? I think that must be the lot. Um, apparently there's something in there. Please don't do it. I've got to go over there for... I sincerely hope I don't have to do that. I'm going to assume we're done here. And that I can make my way back. And if it's a case that I'm not done here, then... Much out hide around here, so as I said, one for, there's the one downside with the MP5 is you do run through ammo very, very quickly. Incredibly inefficient. But then if you're getting infinite hydro ammo um, from the armory, then you know, fire away. Lovely stuff. Do you think there's anything else about this game that I feel like um, making a, a judgment on? Um, no, I think that covers most things, to be honest. I can't really figure too much else uh, about the game that I would uh, comment on. Um, yeah, story, plot, game design, sound, um, puzzles. Yeah, yeah, I can't figure too much else to particularly um, to talk about. Um, so, yeah. In conclusion, although this game hasn't finished yet, and I'll probably revisit some of this when we actually get to the end of the game. It's been a right experience. But, like, yeah, I can't say I've been heavily excited. Um, I was hoping for a bit more of this game, but it's been alright. I have played significantly worse in my time. Believe me. 
Okay, meanwhile, so... Is there anything I want to mess about with here? I can get the uh, voltage attachment here for the M4. It's kind of running with the rifle clip, um, the magazine extender. Um, I don't know if that might be of some use, actually. Tempting. Like, to be honest, you don't really reload much of the M4 um, as it is. I might well get that. We've got a shitload of BP. So I might well just, just punt for that. Um, how much of this can I get? Let's get a load of uh, assault rifle ammo. Get that much there. We don't need parabellums. Buckshots were full on. Um, that we haven't actually been using. That's fine. Got these fun suits here, of course, which I could be uh, messing about with. Uh, the NBC suit to resist poison paralysis. The Psy suit giving us a shit ton of magic points. I'm not too worried about that. Um, various bits and goods here. I don't think really need any of this, though. Um, yeah, I think I'm fairly, fairly happy. I think I might well take it. Oh, what I could do is I could get... Can I get it here? Or do I have to go back to Dryfield for that? I could have sworn there's a grenade launcher attachment for the M4. There must be a grenade launcher attachment for the M4 at some point. And I'll probably go and get that. I guess we'll save up the BP in case something comes up. Um, that I'm like, ooh, I really goddamn want that. So I don't have anything pressing to use for this stuff for now. We've probably still got a little bit of this game left to go. So, you know, should be fine. I'm stuck at Hydra Man. Yeah, probably having, like, the double clip. Like, if the, if the M4 was full auto, then yes. But it's only burst fire. Um, it's certainly going to be probably using it a degree of range. So reloading is probably not, not that bad. Right, I assume my work here is done. <laughs> my work here is done, yes. Um, so let's go back over to the gantry. Let's go see what Pierce is up to. Tell him the good news that we are awesome at this game. Well, I've got some goods dotted about as well. Um, yeah, I've got, like, the Parabellums here. I've got, like, the Spartans. Some uh, spare buckshots and bits and pieces dotted about here. I should remember that I have this stuff. Uh, I'm actually going to put a couple of these away. going to put that away. going to put that away as well. Uh, the Protein Caps, I just need to remember to use that at some point. We are running low on Firefly rounds. I would like to get some. Again, I could conceivably... I could always off-screen and go back to, um... Get my way back to Douglas. I can't remember what he sells at Dryfield. We'll see. Of course, we still got this goddamn thing. Don't really want anything to do with that, I'm going to be honest. And then Pierce. I have good news, my friend. Ah, uh, no worries. Uh, I haven't killed everything yet, have I? Son of a bitch. Where is the monitor I'm looking for? This one? That's us. What have I missed? Yep. Just push it. Right, the first floor. I need to find a way to get past the door. Okay, there's the Neo Arc. Obviously, we don't have access there currently. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. Doesn't look like it. And then that's us again. Okay, then. So we know that we've got to find our way into that first floor area. So we'll go and do that. I'll do this all in one video. Get this whole segment done. As I said, it's going to be a lot of busy work. It is what it is. At least it hasn't been fitting me into me saying, Oh, bat dragon, bat dragon, bat dragon. I, I don't think any of the criticisms I've just laid at this game, I don't think any of them are particularly unfair. Um, as always, I'm always interested to hear what you guys think. And I hope that um, this video generates some... Uh, Get some response in the comments. I have been responding to comments uh, fairly, fairly decently, I like to think, in this series. Of people who have played this game, people who haven't ever played this game. Um, so, you know what? That's, you know, I'm okay with that. 
But yeah, I don't think anything I've said is too ridiculous a, a statement. I think it's been pretty fair. I guess I will. Okay, so we need to work out how to move this. So, there's a control panel to the right. The power is off, so we need to turn the power on. Now, Emergency rations? No, don't need those. Now, where the hell was the power thing? It was this, wasn't it? Shutter, yes. Turn the operation guide. Stop the vehicle Stop vehicle on turntable. Pass ID through card reader. ID card through reader and the gate will open. But I need to be a car here in order to get this to work. Is there a way to get it open? Not seemingly from here. Okay, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't quite say this is a puzzle, but I need to work out what I'm doing here. Oh, hi Jody, how you doing my dear? I didn't mean to actually clip this, but hey, yeah, we're not too bad. How? Oh, he just stepped out. <laughs> Tell me about it. Do you know how much I've been asking for help and not been getting any? Not too impressed. Um, maybe. I thought it was weird that you left so early today. Oh, good. I'll try. <laughs> he isn't. This game does have a lot of um, cute sort of side plot going on. And, uh, you know, I appreciate that. There's a lot to delve into with looking and stuff. This is one thing as well, this game. like the, There's a lot of detail to be found. But it can be a bit tedious trying to get it. I'm going to admit. Okay, so, what key items have we got? I know we got hold of this car key. So where do we use it? Do we use it in here, or do we have to get the car here first? No. Okay, so. We have to get a car on here first. If we can get a car on here, then we can mess around this stuff. The problem is this is closed. Which is kind of annoying. Here, this is this there's no power to this. So I need to turn the power on. Now, is it possible that I missed a switch? Like I have to operate again from maybe the uh, from the gantry? Possible. We have to go back and look. Right. So, let's check this shit again and make sure that I didn't miss something. So that's this. Operate. That's open. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Push it. Okay. So that's here. Okay. Fine. Lift, which is on, which is good. This is the arc. Nothing we can do there. And we got that, which is the security systems, which you currently have turned off. So that's good. So I'm pretty sure that this is not where we want to be. This is not what we require. This is the wrong place. Yeah, cheers for that. So, where in this place is there a power source? Do I have to, like, get around the other side from, like, the mines? Is that the clue there of the room in red? Maybe. I wouldn't put it past this game. But, like, unless I've missed a detail... I don't see a way of... I haven't seen any particular obvious way of turning the power on.
there's nothing that comes to mind outside of like the, the camera ship which we just messed with it definitely doesn't appear to be that so i guess we are going on an adventure without frame limiting Woo! rock and roll so we're doing this together everyone because if i've got to put myself through this backtracking um to find the answer then you're going to enjoy this with me and to be fair, I'm doing a mercy, a mercy on both of us by turning off the frame rating and letting this game run at um, at least twice speed. You're welcome. In content ID probably takes this video down now. Shit. Really? You still hit me with darkness? You piece of trash. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that was a waste of time. I have absolutely no idea how to turn the power on. Oh, nothing. I haven't a clue. I have no idea. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go back to Dryfield. Um, and I'm going to go back to Douglas. And remind me what he's got to buy his thing, and probably buy some bits and pieces there, because um, I'm pretty sure he's got better. He's got uh, more better stock now than we have available in the shelter. So I'm gonna go quickly and go ahead and do that. Um, and then when we come back, I guess I'm gonna puzzle out how the hell to turn on the stuff for the underground parking and see what I've obviously missed, because I've clearly missed something. But what I don't know. I'll see you next time.